to continue with our uh, full example. Okay, so let's go to our steps. And last time we finished up to adjusting the model relationships. I've uh, adjusted the relationships and let me show you the, the model now. Okay, so this is the, the, the model that I prepared. Uh, okay, so uh, this is how I like to adjust my model and my relationships. So everything is linked to this table, which is the baseline task table. Okay, and uh, as you see that everything is linked to this one. So these are the code tables. Okay, and I'm linking the code value to the, the code column in the task table. Okay. If we open this relationship, for example, you'll find that the code value is linked to the code column in the task table. And they are many to one. It means that there are too many items in the task table linked to one value here in the code table. Okay, so this is what is many to one. And of course, I'm doing my cross filter direction is both okay and i'm doing this for all my tables so all my relationships you'll find it here this is mini to one and this says i division is linked to the code value okay and the cross filter direction is both Fine, and uh, uh, I make it uh, the relationship many to one. So this is regarding the code table is linked to the task table, the baseline task table. However, between the task tables, uh, you will find that they are linked one to one because activity ID is, is, is not repeated. So it will be one to one and they are both direction. So activity IDs is the main thing to link all the tables here these are the resources and link it to also to my to my baseline table through the activity id the three tables is the summary table the s curve table and the cost table they are standalone which means that they are not uh, linked to any uh, other tables in my model okay so this is how I plan my model and this is how I design my model. Fine. Okay, so let's go back to our steps and I added some uh, steps here. So we have to check it all the columns of values. So I have to uh, check the column value types. Okay, let me show you uh, what I do. It's simply uh, I just go through the columns and to adjust the data type and the format. So here, for example, I'm changing the data format to be uh, short and nice, uh, putting the commas and putting removing all the decimals. This here, from here, I can change the format of any time. If I checked, for example, uh, this date, See here, this is the date type. It's not it's not recognized because if we see that there is some some values that has the start of the constraint. It's good that you ha we have this one. So let me fix it for for you. So you can still you can work on your database after you upload the model. So let me open my database and I will adjust it. Then save. Then uh, import it again. So I will. See here, I have some constraints. So I will insert a new column after my start and insert a new column after my finish. And then choose my start column, go to data and tick to column and choose delimited and hit space and other and put the store that I don't want. Okay, hit next, finish, it's done. Okay, see now no more stores. Uh, regarding a finish, we'll do the same. This will be the same options. Hit finish, and now the finish dates are done as well. Okay, now I, I can remove these two empty columns, no need for them. And I, I have to hit, uh, I have to save my file. I don't have to close it, but I have to save it. Then go to my database, and I have to refresh my data. So go to home. 
and refresh your data. It will take some time. Okay, and now it is on data C. Now no more constraints. Okay, I just need to go back to my column tools, change the data type to dates, and change the format. Okay, this is too long, so I have to change the format. Okay, we'll do the same for the finish, change the data type. And uh, change the format as well. Okay, so this is how I uh, check my data. And to change the data type, change the format. Okay, so let me see what else we do. We, you know, we did this one, we did this. Okay, adjust the resource budget using a pivot, uh, yeah. So the resource budget, I, I told you before, Power BI doesn't accept anything other than columns format. So in the resource table, we will find the budget distribution is, uh, is coming this way. So to do this, you have to go to the Power Query Editor. Okay, let me go to my Power Query Editor. Okay. So, and go to the resource table. I will do for all resource tables, okay? So I will start with the baseline and choose the, uh, the dates starting the start from the start till the last column, okay? And go to transform, then unpivot columns, done. So I have to rename my two columns. This one I will call it date. And this one, I prefer to just link it to the baseline. So I'll call it 00, zero um, what do you call it? Uh, let's call it PL, okay? So this is budget. So I will call it 00, zero PL budget. And we will do the same for uh, the other uh, updates, okay? So I will go to all resource tables. Uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you that we have to change the format. So now this is the format and this is number. And we will do the same for the other resource tables. So let me do it quickly. Choose all the columns. Unbeef column, change the date, change the value uh, column header as well. So this one I call it uh, May 14 resource budget. Okay, and change the date format so now change the data type okay let's do it again for october 13 update choose all column unpivot column this one we call it date this one change the header as well i forgot what i named the previous column but uh, it's okay here Change the data type, change the data type. Uh, okay. I just need to just match, yeah, call it res, not resources. Okay, so that's to make it all the same. Fine. Okay, and then I have to close and apply. And see now all my data will be transformed to uh, the the format that Power BI understands. Okay. And after that, I have to uh, make some measures. So in the task table, in the last update, and in all updates, we have to do this. We have to go to, to new measure. Okay. And let me calculate the uh, progress percentage. Okay, so I have to uh, rename my measure. So I will call it a zero uh, May 14. So this is May 14 progress percentage. Okay, and the uh, formula equals to sum of the earned value. Okay, I have to make sure that I'm choosing task 
May 14 table, I'm choosing earned value labor units because I'm using labor units as my weighting system. Okay, this divided by the sum of the budgeted again labor units because I'm not using the the cost. I'm using the labor units at the weight. Okay, so this is my budgeted labor units and just close the brackets. Hit OK and it will come here. Okay, we'll do the same for the plant. So we do the plant percentage. Okay, we have to uh, put uh, properly uh, put a name for the plant percentage. The information is equal to the sum of the plant value divided by the sum of the budgeted value. The sum okay, of the budgeted value okay, and close our brackets and that's it. So that's it for today. Okay, now we are ready. All our uh, uh, steps have been completed. Next session, we will do the visuals and we will focus on the format to make it finally uh, the, the overall dashboard. And thank you.